access and they're going to show you a little bit about our new BC Link radio system. Um, but first I want to tell you a little bit about where we're coming from. Um, beacons are great if you get caught in an avalanche because you can find somebody. But there's a lot of education that comes along with it. Shovels are great because if you find somebody you need to be able to dig them out. Don't underestimate how much education and knowledge goes into actually effective shoveling. Airbags are arguably even better because if you get caught in an avalanche they can keep you from getting buried in the first place. But at the end of the day you got to look at what's causing people to get, in, to get in avalanches in the first place. It usually has to do with Poor communication, group dynamics, you know, it's it's the so the new frontier of snow safety is the human factor in group communications. That's the act of avoiding getting caught in the first place. And so the BC Link is designed specifically for backcountry skiers, backcountry riders that and, and to facilitate group communication. It's built on the same technology of two-way radios that's been around for 30 years, like you would see in a Motorola. The big difference is in the user interface. The reason people aren't carrying radios is a question we set out to answer. It has to do with they're kind of clumsy. They don't. They have a lot of features and power, but then they're confusing to use. So we started out by stripping it down and just making it easy, only adding a feature when absolutely necessary. So the foundation is you know the radio itself but what you notice about it is there's no push to talk there's no on off there's no volume control all you could do with this is see what channel you're on power supply and change your preset channels so like an engine of a car you keep your engine under the hood but you keep the but you have the user interface in the cabin so that's what we did is no user interface on this guy it's all on your handset so you put the radio in your backpack or out of the way because you don't need to get at it it also has a real large power supply because you need to, you need your power to last so it's ready when you need it and all the user interface is on the what we call a smart mic so here's your on off and volume control you turn it on you turn the volume up you turn it off, you can manage chatter, that sort of thing. And then here you have your preset channels, five presets. So right now it's set on A. So your party skiing that day would all be on A. Keep it simple. Suppose we want to set channel A to something else. That's the only facet of user interface on the handset. So I'm going to change it from what right now is channel 1, sub channel 3 to uh, whatever, call it 2 5. Hit the menu button, scroll up to 2, hit it again, get your sub channel. Okay, so I just reset channel A to 25. So everybody in your group can get on 25, and all you got to know is hey, everybody run A today. You do your trailhead check, you're good to go.